those mamas in. Morning, love. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Yes. Say yes, I'm hungry, mom. I am ready to eat. Yes. All right. Get off of there. Oh, okay. Mabel told you to get off. I get more of this on your head than I do in your bowl. You know, maybe what would be a good idea is if I took up one of the holes and ran like a PVC pipe and made like an opening, like funnel at the top. And then I just had to pour it in there and it would just kind of outburst to the whole thing. That might be a good idea. We might try that and do a little building corner one day and, and fix that. Hank. He likes to go in with the goats and the cows sometimes. Do you like it in there, buddy? He probably just likes to eat the poop, but um, he does like to hang out with him. And he typically will go out in the middle of the pasture and he'll just like lay down with him. Nina's gear is on the way as well, so she should have her little ladybug gear. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it in my stories, but she's going to look so cute because as you can see, Sugar has the sunflowers and the pink mask, but she's not wearing that right now. And Nina's going to have a red mask and her little sheet is going to be ladybugs. And she's just going to look so cute. Aren't you neat? Are you gonna look so cute? Let's go check on Lucy. What are you doing? Are you out of milk? I think I can tell. Yes, you are. Okay. We're gonna take this away. No, you don't like that. But we're going to. Oh, love. Go eat your food. Come on, let's go in the barn. Come on. Come on and eat. <laughs> He's my spunky girl. She knows not to go on that side with Mabel because Mabel does not share it. <laughs> All right, and then we just need to turn the lights on for these guys. Good morning, Chi Chi's. Good morning. We'll come over here. Now, John has been staying in here for, I guess, two reasons. One reason one reason is because he is being a huge bully to our Pekin duck. And I'm not sure, honestly, if John was going to be working out here. Um, he was one of our original four, or I guess the original two ducks that we started with. But he is just very, very aggressive towards the girls. And also... I have not had any fertile eggs from him, so that's a problem as I do raise ducklings for uh, income. Um, I don't like to depend on it, but I do like to have them so I can sell them, and if he is not, you know, 
producing, then that's kind of a problem. So um, his aggressiveness as well as his non-productiveness is about to land him a spot in the broiler. So um, yeah, I hate to do that, but I need to produce some of these guys. And I can't have him not doing that for me. I actually had to go buy these guys and the eggs that Peaches and Skunk are laying on, if you guys don't know, I did have to buy those eggs because he's not producing fertile eggs. So I'm kind of thinking I might keep one of these babies that are a boy. I have a feeling maybe my bigger black one is a girl, but I think my smaller black one is a boy. So I'm thinking I might keep um, maybe both of that, those black ones if I'm right, and then keep that black one as one of my breeding ducks, and then keep whatever girls are depending on how many girls there are of the gray ones. So, um, we'll just see how it turns out, but I definitely might be keeping a boy from one of these. Um, I have a bunch about to hatch out as well, so I could also choose from there, but just as far as I know, these are what I have in front of me, and I will may very well uh, keep a male from there and then get John either a new family or he might have to be dinner. I'm sorry if you are not for that, but um, it just is how it is sometimes. Um, I'm not like that with everyone. I try to, um, even with my drakes that I hatch out or that I buy and sell, you know, I try to give them a chance at it, like a family to find someone with a pond or I try to sell them before I eat them. Um, but there's a point where you've tried and tried and tried and you just can't anymore. And that's just how it is. Um, but I do not, I don't eat hens if they are doing something, if they're producing eggs or something, they're more than welcome to stay. But I can't have more than one drink anyway with the sheer fact of fighting over the females and whatnot. So, and I don't cage them up separate. I'd prefer to just let them, you know, roam. So, and he is making my Pekin's life a living, you know what. So, just might not work out here. This pup is such a mooch. He's underneath their food bin, as you can see, getting all the remnants. No food goes to waste, guys. None. I know it may look like it the way I pour it, but, uh. They really do a good job at getting it all up. Mabel, you got some babies? I definitely think she has babies, guys. I haven't seen like kicks or anything like that, but I can just kind of see by the way her stomach is developing. I'm not sure if you guys can see. And if I get more of a side view of her, I can kind of see how it drops. But I don't know if you can tell because she's black and it's kind of hard to. But she's definitely developed more in her abdomen since we've had her. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here for a minute and actually uh, talk to you guys about Mabel. So um, as you guys probably know, Miss Mabel, we are expecting her to kid. Uh, June 27th is the date. And with that coming means that we will have a milk goat. So um, we're going to have probably a couple weeks where I'm just not going to do any milking. But then we're going to go ahead and transition into that and we're going to be doing, you know, uh, the kids stay with her during the day and then at night I separate Mabel and then directly in the morning I get up milk and then uh, put her back with him and she'll uh, feed her kids. So with that said, we have to get Mabel used to the milk stand. So I have had a lot of people show a lot of interest in the goat milking and whatnot. So I'm going to um, kind of show you guys in a video um, you know, how you get your goat used to the milking stand, um, and things that I do with Mabel, um, you know, to get her ready for that before I even have the stand. Um, there's tons of little tips and tricks that I can give you to kind of get your goat used to this. Um, Mabel was a bottle baby at one point in time, and then she was set out and she was taken care of wonderfully, but she just wasn't associated, you know, more as she grew because there was, a ton of other goats on the farm, which is understandable. And then after they sold her to me, I'm like super in my animal's faces, like, hi. And uh, she was very nervous at first. And she is coming around and she is, she is, she's being so sweet. Like she's come like leaps and bounds. So I am um, just going to let you guys know, for those of you that have showed interest in milking, um, that I will be doing a um, video on how to get ready for milking. And then eventually I'll be showing you um, how my process works with sharing with the babies the milk and then also um, how I milk and the stand. Um, I'm 
we're either gonna buy a stand or build one. It just kind of depends on what I find. I have no problem buying something if it's uh, within reason, but if it's something that I can obviously make for cheaper, then I'm just gonna make it. But we'll just cross that bridge when it comes. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just wanna let you guys know on this video that we will be doing a, a video on that. So I'll probably come out with a video here soon and kind of show you like what I do to Mabel. I've actually been doing the same things to Mabel as I have been doing to Lucy. Um, even though I don't have a direct plan right now to milk Lucy, I feel in the future I definitely would consider milking my cow. So um, it's just good practice to get them ready in certain ways so that it makes your job easier when they are, you know, um, huge. <laughs> Because I'd much rather start working on Lucy right now when she's a calf than when she is a full-grown cow. I've been doing the same thing to Edith and Fern, my Nigerian dwarf goats. Um, they get, uh, you know, the same rundowns and everything. And now when they get bigger, I won't have to deal with that. Um, and I'm sure if Mabel would have had that, it would have been the same with her. But she just hasn't. And that's fine. I will do that. But I just want to bring you guys along, show you how to do that for if you guys have goats or you're thinking about getting goats. Um, you kind of know how to get them ready because you definitely don't just get a milk stand one day, put your goat in it for the first time, milk your goat, and they stand there perfectly. Like, I'm sorry, but unless if you got a experienced milk goat, that's not going to happen. So let me show you how to make your life easier, how to not get the milk tipped over. And yeah, so um, just wanted to hop on here and say that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great week. Yesterday I was sick and I tried to film, but I gave up because I was not feeling great. But here I am. I am fine. And I'm going to go ahead and post today. So you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Don't forget to turn those post notifications on and subscribe to the channel if you want to see when I post. And yeah, so you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.